everybody, this is the Master Mason, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to make an egg drop project that will survive. Now, in order to do this project, you are going to need certain pieces of sponge, zip ties, scissors, and a plastic bag, and of course an egg, which I'll get later. So, I'm going to show you how to make an egg survive a drop from up to 20 feet with just sponge, zip ties, and a bag, and this to snip the ends of the zip ties. So I'll get back to you in a second and I will get started and show you how to do this. Alright, so first step to making your egg drop winner, I guess, is what you would want to call it, is first of all making sure you have enough sponge and making sure you have the right amount of sponge. So this type of sponge is like a utility sponge. You would use this on a job site or washing a car and they're basically like this big if you buy them at the store and if I kind of put them all together real quick, you can kind of see that I'll see it up to tell you about how long it is. That's about how big they are and if you buy those at a store, they'll be perfect for this and you'll have the right amount. So what you're going to want to do, what you want to do to get started is get one of these kind of bigger pieces like this once you cut one of these out. You're going to want to cut a hole inside with the scissors or a knife and you're just going to want to snip through there until you get to the other side. Then you're going to need to get an egg. So I'll be back with an egg in a second. By the way, did I ever tell you that I'm really good in magic? Boom! Egg. Alright, so now that you got your egg and you got your sponge with a hole in it, what you're going to want to do is work it in there slowly though because you don't want to crack the egg while you're doing it you just slowly but surely work your way around with your fingers and keep pushing in and I'll probably speed this part up a bit until I get it perfectly through you want to get it right so the egg is kind of in the middle so I'll speed through this part alright so once you've got the egg inside the sponge like this and you can kind of feel around it it's got all this nice uh, sponge around it. What you're going to want to do is take two of your thinner pieces, about two of the thinner pieces make up one of the thicker pieces. So go ahead and get two thinner pieces, one on the top of the egg and one on the bottom of the egg. Then this is when your zip ties are going to come in handy. So I'm going to teach you how to use the zip ties correctly. So I'll put this aside for a minute. And what you're going to want to do is if you have smaller zip ties, like I do, these are about, I don't know, three, four, five inches maybe, five inches at most. And these aren't big enough to wrap around that whole entire sponge over here. So what we're gonna need to do is put them together. So in order to put them together, you're going to need to, first of all, get two of the zip ties and stick one in there and one in the other end right here. And now, it's big enough to fit around here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Big enough to fit around the whole entire sponge once we get it in. So now you've got this part and you've got your zip tie. You'll need to do the same with the other two zip ties. You've got to put them together. So if you want to pause the video and do that real quick, you can. So you can. Sorry, it's hard with only one hand. Then you can now put it on top like this and pull it tight. And then make sure you distribute it evenly. So make sure that you pull them all together. Here, I'm about to make a cut for a second. Just give me a minute. I need to work something out with the zip ties. Sorry about that. Fix the zip ties. And there's also some background noise, so I got rid of that. So make sure that it's centered and that it's nice and tight, but not too tight to the point where you crack the egg, because that would defeat the purpose of keeping the egg alive. So this is about perfect. It's fine if there's a little bit showing right there. Just make sure that there's none showing on the sides like this. You want to pull it closer like this. So now it's not showing as much. If it's, No, it's not even showing at all. So you got that good. Now what you can do is if you don't already have it tightened like this, then what you're going to want to do now is snip the edges off, but make sure there's about a centimeter still because you want to make sure that it doesn't come undone when you are dropping the egg. So snip these parts off. And right here. And this is garbage now, so you can just throw these to the side. 
Now what we're going to do is take, yet again, two more smaller pieces and put them on this side. Like this. And then we're going to get the other zip tie. Here, I need to put it together real quick. Another great opportunity to learn how to put the zip ties together. There we go. Two zip ties together. So now what we do is we take the other two sponges that we have, the other two small ones, and we do this weird with one hand. <laughs> we go ahead and put it over the other sides of the sponges. Then you go ahead and tighten these. So you got sponges all around the whole entire thing. And now we're going to do the same thing as we did with the other ones. Snip them off. Double these again from the side. And now you got this weird looking sponge egg ball thing. That's good. You're good with that, so you can go ahead and put that to the side. Now we're going to move on to the next step which is with this long, thin sponge right here. What we're going to want to do with this one, let me get the scissors out of the way, what you're going to want to do with this sponge is get your plastic bag that you came. I think this one is a quart size. I don't know exactly. If you give me a second, I'll find out. Yeah, this is exactly one quart bag, and it's perfect for what we do. It keeps everything nice and tight, and everything fits inside nice. So what you're going to want to do is get your sponge in the bag and I forgot to include in the beginning that you'll need water so I'll probably put that at the beginning. You need water so go ahead and get your water container jug thing like I have. Put that to the side and what you're going to want to do is work this sponge into the bottom of the bag to make sure it's like kind of flat at the bag so the bag can stand up like that. And then what you're going to want to do is get your handy dandy water and go ahead and pour it in there. Just enough to cover the whole entire sponge and have a little bit left over. So to make sure that it soaks in all the way, squeeze it. Just don't make it overflow out of the bag. Just squeeze it like that to get it to have all the water. And then you can also just kind of push this to make it stand up better. So, Hands a little bit wet now, but that doesn't matter. You can get back to your sponge ball and go ahead and tuck that inside right here. So that's one step done, and now we have two more final steps before the drop. First, I'm going to get rid of this water, put it to the side because I don't need it now. And last, we're just going to need these two thicker sponges. They're about the same size as the ones you put on the wall, except that that's the walls of the egg protector thingy, except now it has double the thickness. So these ones, you're not going to be adding it onto the egg ball. You're going to be taking them and shoving them in the sides of the bag and making sure that they touch the bottom like this. So it's nice and tight in there. Then you're going to do the same thing with the other one. Just give me a second. It's hard to work it in there because it needs to be nice and tight. Give me a minute, I'll finish up. Make sure they're nice and tight in there because they don't defeat the purpose if they're not. And then they're all nice and tight, and then you're ready to go. You have your two sponges on the side. Yeah, let me tuck it in better for this one. Two on the side, water in the bottom, and the sponge in the bottom, and you also got the sponge ball. So now you have everything ready and you're ready for the drop test. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you up to a window where I will be dropping the egg ball bag sponge thing. See you guys upstairs. Alright, so I'm back with you guys. I got my sponge ball thing. You can't really see it in the lighting, but this is the bag with the sponge ball and the sponges and the water in it. And I'm also at my window. It's a pretty long drop down there. So we're going to drop it from here. And we'll see if it survives like it did today when I did my experiment. So let me get up on my desk real quick. Oh, don't fall down. <laughs> so just grab the bag. If you're not dropping it, it doesn't matter because I'll explain, I'll explain to you why it doesn't matter in a little bit later. But basically we're just going to get ready to drop. And dropping. 
here we go. Now we're done. So I'll see you guys downstairs and we will check out what's left and what happened. Alright, so I made it outside and now we're just going to walk over to where I dropped the egg from my window. And you can see it's a pretty long drop from my window to the floor. So I'll just climb over some stuff here. And we'll pick up the bag. Doesn't look like any egg yolks spilled, so we're good. Now we'll just head back over to where we were putting this together, and we'll see what happened to it. See you guys there. Alright, so we're back where we put this thing together, and now we're going to go ahead and take it apart and see if it survived. So, go ahead and have your scissors on standby, and open the bag. Easy as that. Make sure that you be careful when you're lifting the sponge out. You're going to want to get the sponge ball thing. Sponge ball thing is out and ready. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get some scissors. <sighs> Sorry, it's a little hard. <sighs> Cut it. Like that, so we got one off. And now we get the others off by going ahead. I don't want to break the egg while I'm doing this, so carefully get your scissors in there, and then cut it. There you go. That's done too. So now we're going to throw these sponge pieces aside. We don't need those. And now let's do the harder part. We're going to have, well, this one's not as hard because it's a little wet, but as you can see, Egg is still fully intact and is good to use for breakfast, which I would not recommend because now it's a little bit warm. But anyway, this egg survived that drop and it was all because of this sponge technique. So this can last up to 20 feet. This is the fourth time I've tested it today. Well, I can't say that because I did it yesterday too. I tested the egg drop with the same exact technique and it worked the three times I tried it then. And then I also had an egg drop at school today. And in, I was like one of the only 10 survivors that whose egg survived the drop. So, little egg can be in his throne over here while I explain how this happened. I'm going to reposition the camera real quick and I will explain to you guys why this egg can survive. Alright, so my theory behind why the egg survived is because of the water at the bottom of the bag. The water is making the sponge more dense, therefore giving it more push on an impact so it'll it'll probably do like half of this so it'll probably be like this and it'll cushion the egg as it falls and the idea of the side pads are to absorb the shock from the bottom and push it to the side so it'll cause less damage on the bottom <sighs> another thing is that when you make the bottom sponge wet like I did here you'll notice that it makes the bottom of the bag heavier therefore Whichever angle your teacher drops it at or you drop it out, it's bound to try and make it fall towards the bottom. So if you drop it like this, it'll try and fall towards the bottom like this. But if you didn't have this sponge in there, it would just fly everywhere because it's the same weight except for in the center with the egg. So make sure that you put the water at the bottom with the sponge or else this will not work out the same way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Again with the egg magic. Thanks for watching. Bye.